Robin, we've got Seagull getting that Diddy Kong. And they're gonna go to Smashville. I like this start. Okay, and here we are. Getting right underway. Joe's gonna start by getting those bananas out. Almost gets gimped here. <laughs> but it's alright, Tantalus. Uh, not able to stop him there. Oh, and Seagull is standing, I just noticed. Making fun of ADHD, he said. Okay. Alright. So right now, Joe has a bit of a percent lead, but Tantalus has stage control right now, and Joe's gonna try and find a way to get back in there. Sort of awkward spot as Ooh, and gets him with a down air out of that side. He did not expect that. New meta punishes here coming out from Tantalus. But now Joe has both bananas out and is just chilling in the center of the stage. Nice laser to help him get back. Ooh, and the nair off the ledge. Did not expect that. And Joe's gonna go flying. Now Tant has that stage control back, has got rid of all the bananas, and Diddy Kong really wants those bananas out. That's the biggest part of his game. Now he's finally gonna throw one out, get one on the field here. But not enough. Tant's gonna take stage control back. Oh, right as I say that, Seagull knocks him into the air. Oh, what a grab from Tantalus. <laughs> Seagull was looking for that that um, that dunk there. It didn't work out. Oh, but the fair from Tantalus is gonna spell the end for Seagull's first stock here. Tantalus sitting at 137. Seagull actually sat down, so you don't actually see him on your screen anymore. I think he got tired from standing. But now Tantalus, with such a high percent, gonna try and tack on as much as he can before he loses this first stock. Seagull doing a good job of making sure that doesn't happen, though. Oh, what a grab. I think a forward throw might have been better there, but he chooses the back throw on it. He still has him off stage here. Up air, Rob's most damaging move. Puts on so much damage here. What a string from Tantalus here. Definitely keeping the damage flowing, sitting at 173 and just will not die. There it is, an up tilt is finally going to kill him off the top. Seagull's happy about that one. But he's already sitting at 70%. And just like that, Tantalus has banana control in the stage, so he's going to try and um, keep control right now. Gyro comes out. Oh, did Seagull just kill himself? No. Smart to get back and recover there. Now we just got little back and forth going on on the stage here. Nice bear to take Seagull off the stage. Look at how high his percent is right now, and Nair might actually do it. It does. Tannos with a huge lead, almost a full stock right now. Two to one. Seagull Joe going to sit down because he needs to focus. I would have called this game for him for sure, but now that he's so far behind, I think Tannos might be able to hold on here. Nair comes out from, uh, from uh, Tannos as well as up air, but Seagull's starting to read him here. Oh, <laughs> that down tilt looks like a shield poke just a little bit. Nice bit of damage in there. And a gyro keeping him on the ed edge of the stage here. But Tantalus actually opting to retreat to the other side, giving Seagull Joe that stage <laughs> presence back. He went for the hardest of down airs. Ooh, nice smash DI. Oh, three times. Oh, the fourth time he couldn't smash DI it. He got out so many times. But it looks like it just wasn't enough here, so he's going to run back away. 117% now on Diddy Kong. And that Nair is not going to do a great DI from Seagull. Oh, but that Fair might just do it. Tantalus is doing a great job of keeping him out there, but the platform there to help him out. I think this game might just be very close to over unless Seagull has a... Oh, what a read from Tantalus. Waits for the spot dodge and just punishes. Nice spike from Seagull, though. That looked pretty. Gimmer over here chanting Seagull. He wants Seagull to bring it back, so we got something for the highlight reel today. Look at the bananas just flying everywhere. But that might just do it. Nice grab. He's going to take back his Nana control here. Only one Nana on the stage now. He's going to use it. Throws out the second one, but Tantalus just rolls away, and that's going to do it. Up throw, no. Nice DI. He's coming back. He gets back to the stage. Just barely no forward smash is finally going to take him out. One second. All right, we're on to game two now. And uh, Seagull decides to switch it up to Zero Suit Samus. This is definitely a character I know he does not play, so this is an interesting choice in my opinion. But here he goes. I wonder if he's been trying to mess around with Zero Suit at all or something. 
Ooh, nice charge on that down smash. He's just doing crazy stuff. I don't think he actually knows what he's doing as Zero Suit. Oh, trying to do a roll read there with that down smash, but... Jeez, that frame one jab, Zero Suit's uh, jab comes out on frame one, and it just looks so fast. It punishes so many things. Nice power shoot on the gyro. Tant immediately throws in another one. Looks like the gyro will block the uh, stun gun, so... Uh, Joe needs to keep an eye out for that. Nice spot does there, but he gets hit with the second back air. Joe going for the side B kill off the side of the stage, but it's not going to work out. Now we got just sort of little footsies back and forth. Tantalus seems to have the majority of the stage control staying grounded the most, but... Ooh! But a nice play from Siegel might just change that here. Nice down tilt to punish that air dodge. And Tantalus is going way out, trying not to recover too soon here. Nice jab again. Oh, it tried to wait for the spot dodge before that back air, but it didn't work out. There comes the laser, and that's going to be a stock for Tantalus. Nice snipe on that neutral B there. Now, Seagull Joe's going to try and take this stock as quickly as possible so he doesn't take too much damage. Nice getup attack. It's actually going to be power shielded. Looking for a gimp. No, the up air is going to finally finish it. He's going to taunt here. So two stocks apiece. Oh, nice power shield from Tantalus there. Oh, and Seagull Joe going to try and start making the plays. Already has Tantalus on the edge really early on, on this uh, stock here. Nice uh, string here coming out from Joe. Get, racking up all the damages and not taking many hits himself. Oh, he even waited for that, that air dodge, but just didn't know the right way to punish. That comes with Zero Suit Samus inexperience. There we go. Now Tantalus is starting to make the raw plays here. Price to not see more camping from either of these characters, you know, trying to see some laser and gyro out from Rob or some uh, stun gun uh, plays from uh, Seagull here, but pretty sure they're both just trying to have a good time and do what's fun. <laughs> Seagull goes for the down B to read that get up. Ooh, more gyro tricks coming out from a uh, panelist right now. They're still sitting at a nice two stocks apiece here. Tantalus definitely having the disadvantage. Reads that roll and goes right for the dash attack. Good stuff to Seagull. Oh, I did not expect that. Whoa, and I didn't expect that either. <laughs> the most random forward smash in the opposite direction to catch him. That time Seagull wasn't able to do it all, but nice up air before he got forward smash. That was a little bit scary. Oh, I thought he would try and back air and stage spike him, but it didn't work out. Is he going to do anything here? No, it doesn't look like it. Tantalus is getting too far away. And that's going to kill only Tantalus here. Nice trade in Seagull's favor, but the audience seems to think that is in ROB Rob's favor. Oh, he's in a bad position here on the ledge. He manages to get back and actually push Tantalus away. But with so much damage that he's accrued, he's going to get knocked to the ledge very easily over and over again. Oh, and the, the gyro. If that had killed him, the gyro tricks he's... I would, have, I would have pretended like Tantalus had intend, intended to do that. Oh, this time, Seagull Joe actually dodges the... Uh, oh, that was a bad decision. He would have been okay if he didn't stick out that foot. But at any rate, now it's one stock apiece here. Joe playing a character he's not too familiar with. And Tantalus playing his, his secondary Rob here. <laughs> Joe goes for three down smashes in a row. I think he really wants to make a down smash play. Trying to use the gyro to cover his uh, path back to the stage here, but Joe ready and waiting with tons of damaging options. Tries to go for a forward smash there and a down air. Several things you don't ever see a Zero Suit Samus do. <laughs> he goes for these hard reads with these down B kicks, but it's not working out for him. And that's... Whoa! Barely saves himself, but Tantalus, I think, has him without any jumps, and that's going to be it. 2-0 for Tantalus. Is it best of three or best of five? It's best of three, right? Yeah. All right, so it's best of three, so that's a bracket reset here. So we're back to zero, zero. So what, what characters are we going to see now? Oh, Seagull's upset. It's time for him to win. He's going to switch to uh, to Wolf, and Tantalus is going to go to Meta Knight, and Seagull, after saying he's not upset, he's definitely upset. I can confirm he is upset. 
but now he's just going to do regular wolf stuff that we see him do all the time. And Tantalus is going to do regular NATO stuff that we see him do all the time. Bringing us back to that last game. Look how many NATOs he's going to pull out. Great air dodge at the end of that, though, so uh, Seagull could land and do something safe. But more NATOs coming out from Tantalus. I'm pretty sure Tantalus and Joe play each other a lot, so Tantalus might have some experience as to what to do against Wolf. Wolf only a mid tier, but Seagull makes him look a uh, high tier. Contesting all these Meta Knights and Olimars in the region. Looking at UPS. Anyway. Whoa! And Joe kills himself. So, uh... I'm kidding. It's actually, Wolf is actually a terrible character. It's a classic Seagull quote right there. At any rate. First stock now gone. Seagull was looking to roll away from that tornado, but it didn't work out for him. He ended up getting hit by it. That time he managed to pull it off. And it's second hit of Down Smash. He's going to kill here. So two stocks apiece. 0% to 21. 28 now. Now he's going to get a nice punish on that. <laughs> Went for double up smash, but Tano is too smart for that. Ooh, nice play there. Baiting the shield drop so he can land that forward smash. But Joe now gets the center of the stage, and he can camp him out with lasers here. And he's doing exactly that. Has Tano in a bad position on the ledge. Nice up smash. You would have expected Tano to glide attack, but Joe knew it wasn't coming out and was able to punish. Yeah, really unfortunate on that recovery. He gets punished very easily. A nice forward smash, but good AI from uh, from Joe there to head straight up out of that forward smash. Daniel's trying to find a way back on the stage here, and Nato seems to be the best option for him because it's working all the time. Ooh, poor grab there. He's going to go for a grab release? No. Meta Knight's foot hit the ground, it looked like, so he was afraid of a grounded release. Nice, and he gets him with a down smash. Roll behind. He knew he was going to roll behind, and that's going to be a second kill here for Joe now. So Joe, after that accidental kill early, able to bring it back. Tries to shark through the stage there. Where is it? I forget what it's called. He tried to go through the stage there and get that, that sweet spot on that side B, but it didn't work out. And now he's just laying on the damage here. Tanner is trying to get this kill as soon as possible because he's sitting at 150. Tried to get a down smash there. It didn't even work out. Oh, Seagull going deep. Actually even managing to get back, too. But he's sitting at 158, and if he can actually finish this stock without dying here, he will have taken three stocks on a single life. And that is that is always impressive. Oh, air dodges behind. Classic Seagull Joe maneuvers. Oh, but the glide attack is going to finally take that stock. Seagull Joe down to his last life. It's now one stock apiece here, but 113% is not going to work well for Tantalus. That's going to be the first game to Seagull. So he SD'd in this game and managed to bring it back very nicely. <laughs> Joe tried to ask Tantalus for his ban and then it then decided to ban Lilat, so uh, Tantalus is going to counterpick Yoshi's. I think that's actually a common counter versus a uh, Seagull for some reason. So uh, there we go, Tantalus is going to open up with the, uh, the NATO combos. We're going to see another NATO in a second, there we go. There's like a certain angle where if Tantalus is falling and his opponent's on the ground, he's going to NATO. But at any rate... He's going to keep doing that. So far, most of the damage on the stock from Nato's. And uh, because Joe doesn't have a Nato, he can't actually do damage. So that's that's a really unfortunate part of being Wolf is, it, is the fact that he doesn't have a Tornado. Oh, but he does have Shine, and he finally manages to put some damage in here. But Daniel is already with a really nice lead here. But, yeah, he's just going to keep Natoing. Nato's at up tilt. Worked out very nicely because Joe, I don't think, expected to land on that platform. <laughs> Joe tried to go for the dare. Which I don't think would have killed even if it had landed. Tantalus now a nice advantage. Only 29 on his first stock, and the Nados are just keep coming. Actually managed to shield poke him a little bit there as he was trying to retreat. Which is really nice for him. Joe tries to go for a down smash right there, but I don't think it would have killed or helped him much because he would have still been punished. These Nados are just killer for Joe. How is he just always getting hit by these? There he goes, he's going to finally punish that one with an up tilt on the platform. He rolled into it that time. I think if he had stood still, he would have been fine. The Nados on this game are real. If people say Brawl is a boring game, uh, Nados. Nados all day. Take strategy to play this game. <laughs> Racked up about 87 damage with mostly Nados. There we go, Seagull going to stop that one with a forward smash. Now that Tantalus is in the air, if he's pretty high up, he won't go for the NATO. Here he's going to go for the Drill Rush. Is he going to NATO to get back on stage? He might. Let's see. He's thinking about it. There's going to... There's a... Oh, he went for a glide instead. Didn't end up doing it. 
It's like he's out of options when he doesn't NATO. He couldn't get on the stage, so he finally NATO to get back. There's an F-Tilt. I'm proud of you, Sagat. There we go. Down Smash might actually get the kill out of after all the NATOs. No, it doesn't. Light Attack, though, gonna punish the landing. Ooh, Joe tried to make a play out of that, but Tantalus was very ready for it. So Joe has a bit of a mountain to climb here and a bunch of NATOs to avoid in the future because he's down a full stock at this point. Can't seem to take this stock off of Tantalus right now. He's looking for that down smash or maybe even a back air, but Tantalus has so many options here. Nice down smash. That's going to be a kill here. So it's two stocks apiece, but Joe really far behind. And <laughs> nice, nice job from Tantalus just deciding, well, you're shielding. I'm going to grab you. Will we see a NATO to punish this ledge play? That's the real question. Is The question is no longer what are these guys going to do. The question is, is he going to NATO? I don't think dash attacks actually punish the landing. Nice grab there. I think he should have gone for an up throw. I think it might have killed. But uh, good job to use the back throw to put him in a bad position here. And Joe is just going to try and camp him out. There's the NATO again. Up tilt. Oh, he didn't up tilt. I was super expecting an up tilt. Oh, that was a very unsafe flight attack. Now Joe here getting shield poked by the NATO, expecting a uh, shuttle loop here. Oh, wow. Good awareness from Joe to sweet spot that uh, Phantom, but it doesn't matter. Up air going to take that kill for Tantalus. Now two stocks to one here. 53% already on Tantalus, though, and he's going to resume NATOing because this definitely seems to be working for him. There we go. Going to punish that bear. What can Joe do if there's always NATO here? Oh, he finally cancels that laser with a... Or can cancels the NATO with a laser. That seems to be his new go-to strategy here, but Tantalus adapting very quickly just starts walking up and grabbing up. Tantalus adapts. He knows when Joe is not going to be able to handle the NATO, and it's, it's working really well for him. Nice bear to punish that NATO finally. Joe rushing back to the stage now. Joe looking for a hard read, but it doesn't work out. He gets rolled behind and good. Ooh, Randall showing up to ruin his day, but a down smash is going to take that kill. So here we go, Joe. 80% on this stock. Can you actually bring it back? Looks like we're about to find out. Nice combo so far. Nice grab out of that shield. Yeah, he expected that NATO and he expected another one. Oh, didn't expect that one, though. That was a weird NATO. Ooh, there's another one. Oh, Joe finally rolls away. Good stuff. Rolls the right direction for once. This time he ducks so he doesn't get hit. And now he's definitely got the stage presence to beat the NATO over and over again. He's not getting hit anymore. He knows what he's doing. Bringing it all the way back now. 80 apiece here. And now Joe has the lead. Only taking uh, 15 damage on the stock so far. Is he actually going to bring it out? Tantalus still determined here. Nice grab there. Tries to punish the get up with a forward tilt. Doesn't work out. Ooh, but a whiff grab. Going to give Joe that advantage here. Joe might be looking for a fair to kill. Ah, uh, tried the down smash, but it didn't work out. These lasers are giving Tantalus such a hard time. Oh, the backside of down smash, and that's going to kill. And Joe seems <laughs> pretty silly. So it's now 1-1, and this, this is the final game to decide everything. So here we go. This is the game. Hey, if you if you guys are a subscriber to uh, Video Game Bootcamp, you get a nice little emote. Gamers typing in the chat right now, the Just Press B emote. And all it is is a NATO, and this would be the perfect time to use it, because that is all Tant has been doing. Seagull decides to counterpick Pokemon Stadium 1, and um, not really sure if that actually is good for Wolf or bad for Wolf here, because he's he, he was really doing well when he could camp and get away from NATO, and I think that's what he's going to try and do here, is just run away as much as possible. So far, it seems to be working. He jumps into that NATO, but he's going to run away and try and retreat here and get those those lasers in. He does have stage control in the middle here. He's standing right on that Pokeball, keeping Tantalus out. And that is definitely where he wants to be, center stage. As long as you can keep Meta Knight out of center stage, you're doing it right. Up tilt going to knock so far away. And a back air actually gets the kill here. So a nice start here from Joe. 35% only, and a full stock down is Tantalus. Tantalus going to resort to it. More NATOs, but I don't think it's going to work anymore because Joe looks like he is adequately prepared this time. Tantalus is going to retreat to the windmill. And the windmill actually blocks that NATO. So unfortunate for him. <laughs> awkward tech there. Another awkward tech there. But the combos from Joe are just real right now. Grabs him out of NATO this time. And this time he's trying to read everything. There's the shine to punish NATO as well. 
Wolf Shine works a little bit differently from Fox and Falco Shine because it only hits when it's turned off. So you have to time it really well. And Joe, a really good master of using the Shine to punish Nato. Look at that, using it again here. Tries to go for the Dacus read off of the Tech Chase. Tried to punish the, uh, the Shuttle Loop with a Shine as well, but Tantalus accidentally jabs here. <laughs> Seagull just runs to the other side of the stage and then jumps back in and down smashes. If it works, it works. Seagull Joe now with three full stocks to the Tantalus' one. Tantalus really wants to get rid of this first stock as soon as possible. A Gimp would do exactly that, but Joe, it doesn't look like he's going to let him let him get away with that. Tries to sweet spot the, the Phantom there, but Tantalus too smart. And forward smash, not going to get the kill quite yet. And a really awkward shuttle loop, really high up, and Joe's going to get a free punish here. It's so close. Will actually Joe get this three stock? That's all that matters now. Gets a nice air dodge grab. Here comes a shuttle loop. No, up air. Great patience from Pan. Oh, sweet spots the side B. And oh, can he punish the NATO? No, he can't. Instead, does an F tilt on landing. Joe sitting at 150. I don't think he wants to get shuttle looped here, but he knows he has a really nice lead. Who oh, tries to tries to dare spike? Oh, is that gonna be it? No, he drill rushes by accident, but Joe is out of position. No, whoa! I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> and, and Joe is finally going to go down. <laughs> Joe making the goofy plays. And that's going to be it. JV3 for Siegel. And that's going to be it.